This method allows undergraduate students to rapidly purify iron-binding metalloenzymes and then use that protein to answer key questions about structure and function, all within the confines of the teaching laboratory. The main advantage of this technique is that it is applicable to non-heme iron-binding enzymes. It is accessible to undergraduate students, and it's readily implemented in the teaching laboratory. To begin this procedure, obtain a 1.5 by 20 centimeter column equipped with a lure lock outlet, an upper cap that also contains a lure lock fitting, and a lower bed support to retain resin particles. Fit the lower lure lock fitting with a stopcock to control flow. Next, obtain a bottle containing a 50% slurry of nickel-bound nitriloacetic acid resin in 20% ethanol that was previously stored at 4 degrees Celsius. Gently swirl the bottle to evenly resuspend the resin. Working at room temperature, use a graduated pipette to withdraw 2 milliliters of the slurry and transfer it to the column. After the excess storage solution drains from the resin, use a pasture pipette to carefully add at least 30 milliliters of chilled lysis bind buffer, making sure not to disturb the resin surface. Run the buffer down the walls of the column to prevent splashing. Equilibrate the resin by allowing the buffer to drain slowly from the column by gravity into a collection beaker. To begin, prepare the nickel NTA column for the addition of the cell-free crude extracts by opening the stopcock and allowing the remaining lysis binding buffer to drain by gravity through the nickel NTA resin. When the buffer has drained